Well, hello there and welcome to the Mission Moment Game Show. Our topic this week is Honduras. First, let's meet our contestants. Hi, my name is Elise. Hi, I'm Isaac. Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, I'm Joel. Hi, I'm Vivian. We're going to ask a series of questions and give each contestant an opportunity to respond. See if you can figure out who has the correct answer. Question one, where is Honduras? Deep in the ocean? It's in Australia. In the desert. On the moon? It is 3,000 miles away in Central America. The correct answer is... Question two, when do the kids in Honduras start school and how do they get to school? In Honduras, kids start school in February and walk to school. Some even walk miles to get to school. They go on a train car from Ohio. They take a bus? They take a plane. The correct answer is... Question three. What are some ways the kids are able to help their families earn income? Kids in Honduras earn money for their families by having garage sales. So many of the kids have to um, leave school and go help on the family farm, usually coffee. Um, they can leave pretty early, but usually by fifth or sixth grade, a lot of them, especially the boys, um, don't go to school anymore. A lot of times because the families don't have the money to send them to school, the backpacks and school supplies are a lot of money. So um, us sponsoring children and sending backpacks allows them um, to stay in school and their parents to continue to work. Uh, they work at McDonald's. The correct answer is... Question four. How do backpacks get to Honduras? The way the backpacks actually make it to Honduras is um, Alan Sowers, the missionary, comes here and drives around the United States and with a giant box truck. Um, goes to about 30 different states picking up backpacks from churches and he then loads those onto a giant shipping container which goes onto a ship and they then set sail for Honduras and they make it there in time for uh, February when school starts. Amazon Prime? The correct answer is... Thanks contestants, you guys did amazing! Now we'd like to ask you a few more questions. What's one fun thing you are packing in your backpack this year? We have a little boy named Eric, and he likes to play with cars, so we got him some cars for him to play with. My family sponsors a child named Exekius. Every time they send out the backpacks, we like to put a toy in for him. This time, we put in a toy truck. I found Spanish Bibles for kids, and so we included Spanish Bibles this year, which is something we haven't done before. I row and pretty much every other kid in Honduras loves to play soccer, so I'm going to send him a soccer ball in his backpack. Toys? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like they would have fun playing with them. One way LCC partners with Aaron Allies is by sending the sponsored kid in it, kids in Aaron Allies letters. Through those letters we can interact with our sponsored kids, tell them about Jesus, about us, we support the kids so they can go to school. And then the money we spend helps pay for food that they get to eat for their meals. Another thing we do is pray for the children we sponsor. We sell some of the coffee from the Sowers Farms um, that helps support them in their, in their ministry. And we sell that at the coffee bar when we're really in person. One of the ways that LCC partners with the Sowers um, is through a motorcycle ministry. So less than 10% of the people in Honduras actually own a car, so they don't just hop in their car and drive down to the 
supermarket or wherever they need to go. Uh, they walk, uh, they ride bikes, or um, they get a motorcycle. A motorcycle is a little cheaper than a car. Um, we actually, uh, LCC was able to uh, help Pastor Marvin, who is the local pastor here in, here in Hollis, purchase a motorcycle. And with that motorcycle, he can get out and he can see uh, community members and he can visit um, pastors of other churches, pastors that he's trying to mentor. He can visit schools. Uh, he can continue to bring schools into the program so that children can be sponsored. Um, so that's been a really awesome way that we've been able to support Pastor Marvin and support his ministry.